In this video, we will configure the Anibus Communicator for Master Mode Operation to interface a process controller using a custom communication protocol. Comly is a master slave data communication protocol used mainly within the ABB automation family of control systems. The setup consists of an ABB ECA600 process controller as Comly slave on an RS232 serial network. As Comly master, we have an Anibus communicator gateway to bridge the gap between the serial network and the film bus. We also have a PC with Profibus master simulator to monitor the field bus data. What we try to accomplish is having the communicator request the process and setpoint values from the ECA and interpret the ECA response. Our focus will be on how a custom transmit and receive frame may be constructed with ABC config tool. We begin by starting the ABC config tool and select an empty configuration. Our communicator field bus type is Profibus DP. We select the ABC entry to verify that the protocol mode property is set to master mode. This mode makes the communicator operate as master on the subnet. The ABB ECA600 communication properties have already been configured and we need to configure the communicator with the same settings, which are 9600 bits per second, 8 data bits, 1 odd parity bit, and 1 stop bit. We expand the subnet entry and rename the empty node ECA600. The node slave address property is mainly used for Modbus commands and will not have any effect in our custom transactions. Then we right click the node and select add transactions. The transactions appear under the node and consists of a query frame and a response frame, which we soon will define by adding frame objects. But first, a briefing on the two comly message types might be appropriate. The comly message type 0 and type 2 frames consists of a start, function and an end block. The start block have three frame objects. The start text object of length 1, always the ASCII start text character. The destination object of length 2, and its stamped object of length 1 to indicate retransmissions, though this functionality is not implemented in the ECA 600. The function block have a message type object of length 1 that indicate how the rest of the function block shall be interpreted, the address object of length 4 that point out the data requested, the quantity object of length 2 states the requested data length in bytes. The type 0 message also have a data object of length quantity carrying the data being transmitted. The end block have two frame objects. The end text object of length 1, always the ASCII end text character, and the BCC object, or block check count, of length 1 for error detection using XOR from byte 1. The query transaction will be a message type 2, request of multiple registers. We build up the frame by right-clicking the query entry, to add objects corresponding to the summary shown to the right. We add a constant byte for the start text object. And set the value to 2, meaning the ASCII start text character. Then we add a constant word for the destination object. We set the hexadecimal value to 3031, meaning node address 1.
Then we add a constant byte for the stamp object. We leave the value at 0, since the stamp object functionality is not implemented in the ESA regulator. A constant byte is added for the type object. The value we set to hexadecimal 32, meaning message type 2. We add a constant double word for the address object. The hexadecimal value we set to 34333230, meaning address 4320, which is the address to register 50. A constant word is added for the quantity object. And we set the hexadecimal value to 3034, meaning 4 bytes is requested. Then we add a constant byte for the end text object. The value we set to 3, the ASCII end text character. Finally, we add a checksum for the block check count object. We set it to use the XOR operator. From byte number 1, all according to the Comly system specification. The response transaction will be a message type 0 transfer of multiple registers. We build up the response frame by adding the following constants that must match incoming data. Otherwise incoming data will be ignored as a response for this transaction. The start text object is a constant byte with value 2. For the data object, we have added a data segment. We have set the length to 4 bytes, and the received data will be stored to address 0. We have a constant byte for the end text object, set to value 3. For the block check code object, we have a checksum. It uses the XOR operator from byte number 1. We now save this configuration and connect to the communicator to download it. By using Monster Simulator, we should be able to see the date on the field bus. The first two bytes in the input area should be data from register 50, the process value. The two following bytes should be data from register 51, the internal setpoint. When modifying the internal setpoint on the ECA regulator, we can see that the corresponding data on the field bus changes as well. So the communicator configuration and our custom protocol seem to work, which is what we wanted to accomplish.